triangles. First we consider real life example to better understand this chapter. A girl is walking away from the base of a lamp post at a speed of 1.2 meters per second and her height is 90 centimeters if the lamp is 3.6 meters above the ground. Then how do we find the length of her shadow after 4 seconds? In this chapter we will learn to find answers to such questions. Similar figures. Two polygons of the same number of sides are similar if 1. Their corresponding angles are equal and 2. Their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion. That is, two similar figures have the same shape but not necessarily the same size. Let us consider some example, like see this, two or more circle, all circles are similar. 1. We can say that all congruent figures are similar but the similar figures need not be congruent. 2. If one polygon is similar to another polygon and the second polygon is similar to a third polygon, then the first polygon is similar to the third polygon. We can see that the ABCD quadrilateral PQRS as the ratio of corresponding sides is equal and corresponding angles are also equal. Note, if quadrilateral ABCD is similar to quadrilateral PQRS, and quadrilateral PQRS is similar to quadrilateral WXYZ, then quadrilateral ABCD is similar to quadrilateral WXYZ. You may note that in the two quadrilaterals ABCD and PQRS, corresponding angles are equal, but their corresponding sides are not in the same ratio. So, the two quadrilaterals are not similar. Similarly, you may note that in the two quadrilaterals, a square and a rhombus, corresponding sides are in the same ratio, but their corresponding angles are not equal. Again, the two polygons, quadrilaterals, are not similar. Similarity of triangles. Two triangles are similar, if, 1, their corresponding angles are equal, and, 2, their corresponding sides are in the same ratio, or proportion. Theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Proof. We are given a triangle ABC in which a line parallel to side BC intersects other two sides AB and AC at D and A respectively. We need to prove that AD upon DB equals to AE upon EC. Let us join BE and CD and then, draw DM as perpendicular to AC and EN as perpendicular to AB. Now, area of triangle ADE is equals to half of base into height, which is equals to half into AD, into EN. But, area of triangle ADE is denoted as area of triangle ADE. So, area of triangle ADE is equals to half into AD into EN. Similarly, area of triangle BDE is equals to half into D, B into E and area of triangle DEN is equals to half into CE into DM. Therefore, area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle BDE is equals to half into AD into EN upon half into D, B into EN is equals to AD upon DB equation 1. Therefore, area of triangle ADE upon area of triangle DEC is equals to half into AE into DM upon half into EC into DM is equals to AE upon EC equation 2. Note that, triangle, BDE and triangle, DEC are on the same base. DE and between the same parallels, BC and DE. AD upon DB is equals to AE upon EC. Theorem. If a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. Solution. It is given that PS upon SQ equals to PT upon TR. So, ST parallel to OR, therefore, angle PST equals to angle PQR. Corresponding angles, equation 1, also, it is given that, angle PST equals to angle PQR equation 2. So, angle PRQ equals to angle PQR from equation 1 and 2. Therefore, PQ equals to PR sides opposite to the equal angles, that is triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Example, if a line intersects sides AB and AC of a triangle ABC at D and E, respectively, and is parallel to BC, prove that AD upon AB equals to AE upon AC, solution. D, E, parallel to BC, given. AD upon DB equals to AE upon E, C. Also, we can write it as db upon ad equals to e c upon a e add 1 on both sides we get db upon ad plus 1 equals to e c upon a e plus 1 db plus ad upon ad equals to e c plus a e upon a e that is ab upon ad equals to ac upon a e therefore ad upon ab equals to a e upon ac 
Criteria for similarity of triangles, that is, in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, if 1. Angle A equals angle D, angle B equals angle E, angle C equals angle F. 2. AB upon DE, equals to BC upon EF which is equals to CA upon FD. Then the two triangles are similar. Theorem. If in two triangles, corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio, or proportion, and hence the two triangles are similar. This criterion is referred to as the triple A, angle angle angle, similarity criterion for two triangles. If in two triangles, sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle, then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. This criterion is referred to as the SSS, side 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 similarity criterion for two triangles. If one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. This criterion is referred to as the S, A, S, side angle side, similarity criterion for two triangles. Example, 1. In the figure, if PQ is parallel to RS, prove that triangle POQ is similar to triangle SOR, solution, PQ is parallel to RS. Given. So, angle P equals to angle S, alternate angles, and angle Q equals to angle R also, angle POQ equals to angle SOR, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, triangle POQ is similar to triangle SOR, triple A similarity criterion. Example, 2. Observe the figure and find angle P, solution. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR. AB upon RQ equals to 3.8 upon 7.6 equals to 1 by 2, BC upon QP equals to 6 upon 12 equals to 1 by 2. CA upon PR equals to 3 root 3 upon 6 root 3 equals to 1 by 2. That is, AB upon RQ equals to BC upon QP equals to CA upon PR. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle RQP. Triple S similarity, therefore, angle C equals to angle P. Corresponding angles of similar triangles. But angle C equals 180 degrees minus angle A minus angle B. Angle sum property. Angle C equals 180 degrees minus 80 degrees minus 60 degrees. Angle C equals 40 degrees. So, angle P equals 40 degrees. Example, 3. In given figure, OA into OB equals to OC into OD. Show that angle A equals to angle C and angle B equals to angle D. Solution, OA into OB equals to OC into OD, given. So, OA upon OC equals to OD upon OB. Also, we have angle AOD equals to angle COB. Vertically opposite angles. Equation 2. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2. Triangle, AOD is similar to triangle, COB. SAS similarity criterion, so, angle A equals to angle C and angle D equals to angle B, corresponding angles of similar triangles. Areas of similar triangles. Theorem. The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Pythagoras theorem. If a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle. To the hypotenuse then triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other. Proof. Here, triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC equation 1 and triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC equation 2, from equation 1 and 2, we get. So, triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC. Theorem. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Proof. We are given a right triangle ABC right angled at B. We need to prove that AC square equals AB square plus BC square. Let us draw BD perpendicular AC. Now, triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. So, AD upon AB equals to AB upon AC. AD into AC equals to AB square equation 1. Also, triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So, CD upon BC equals to BC upon AC. CD into AC equals to BC square equation 2. Adding equation 1 and 2, AD into AC plus CD into AC equals to AB square plus BC square. AC into AD plus CD equals to AB square plus BC square. AC into AC equals to AB square plus BC square. AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. 
hence proved theorem in a triangle if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides then the angle opposite the first side is a right angle proof here we are given a triangle abc in which ac square equals to ab square plus bc square we need to prove that angle b equals 90 degrees to start with we construct a triangle pqr right angle at q such that pq equals to ab and qr equals to bc now from triangle pqr we have pr square equals to pq square plus qr square pythagoras theorem as angle q equals to 90 degrees pr square equals to ab square plus bc square by construction equation 1 but ac square equals to ab square plus bc square given equation 2 so ac equals to pr from 1 and 2 equation 3 now in triangle abc and triangle pqr ab equals to pq by construction bc equals to qr by construction ac equals to pr proved in 3 above so triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr triple s congruence therefore angle b equals to angle q corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent but angle q equals to 90 degrees by construction so angle b equals to 90 degrees hence proved example 1 a ladder is placed against a wall such that its foot is at a distance of 2.5 meter from the wall and its top reaches a window 6 meter above the ground find the length of the ladder solution let ab be the ladder and ca be the wall with the window at a also bc equals to 2.5 meter and ca equals to 6 meter from pythagoras theorem we have ab square equals to bc square plus ca square so ab equals to 6.5 thus length of the ladder is 6.5 meter 2. bl and cm are medians of a right angle triangle abc at a prove that 4 bl square plus cm square equals 5 bc square solution bl and cm are medians of the triangle abc in which angle a equals to 90 degrees bc square equals to ab square plus ac square pythagoras theorem equation 1 from triangle abl bl square equals al square plus ab square bl square equals to ac square upon 2 plus ab square l is the midpoint of ac bl square equals to ac square upon 4 4 bl square equals ac square plus 4 ab square equation 2 from triangle cma cm square equals to ac square plus am square cm square equals to ac square plus ab upon 2 the whole square m is the midpoint of ab cm square equals to ac square plus ab square upon 4 4 cm square equals 4 to ac square plus ab square equation 3 adding equation 2 and 3 we have 4 bl square plus cm square equals to 5 ac square plus ab square that is 4 bl square plus cm square equals to 5 bc square from 1 